I call that customer zero because we are the first customer in JFrog internally that interact with the product and the new features. So many of the new features that you guys experience as the customers came to us and fairly we're really early adopters and feedback the product. Uh, and we're looking for the supply chain from all over the aspects from dependency management, centralized, of course, repository, use artifactory. It's a central place. If you've got artifactory that you manage all your binary in a central place as a security, you win, uh, you won. You got everything in place. You have full visibility. It's a single source of truth. From there, do security is the easy part. You don't need to integrate anything. So use artifactory to, that will be, you know, the S bomb, your source of truth. From then, you know, take the dependency uh, management of dependencies. Uh, second thing is uh, code review and analysis. Implement, you know, code review processes to identify and address security vulnerability in every stage of the development. Uh, static code analysis is new feature coming up soon and uh, automate that process into your CI CD. It's a part of that. Make sure that you got static code analysis in place. Um, continue integration and delivery. Integrate security tech into your CI CD pipeline. Uh, automate security testing. Uh, nightly build or whatever is comfortable and, and relevant for your company. Uh, but do security, vulnerability scanning, code analysis as part of the continuous integration. Um, of course, an SCA software composition analysis, we're using, you know, X-ray from the beginning uh, and add contextual analysis that really, really help our engineering and R&D to prioritize uh, affected uh, or not affected and be able to, to address that and prioritize which vulnerability we need to handle, which one are affected. And, and I need to take care of them now. So prioritization is also something super important. Otherwise you'll get tons. You can get a lot of vulnerabilities as that's not necessary. You're not, you're not going to be affected from. They are not weaponized there. So don't, you know, spend your time on that. Um, security, container security. If you're using containers, so, you know, ensure container images are scanned and uh, for vulnerabilities. Uh, and implement, you know, that control uh, to prevent the insecure image that will be deployed. Uh, it's one container for all your developers and all your OSS or a production. Uh, so secure the container. Uh, I talked about it earlier, uh, sign and verify packages, uh, sign the pipelines as well. Um, one more thing is related to access control and follow principle of least privilege uh, approach, especially in your repositories. Uh, it's super important. No one should get like, not everyone are admins. So keep privileged, you know, limit the access, limit the admins, uh, identify the organizational, you know, split between them and grant access, grant right access. Um, Threat monitoring. Uh, we're simulating purple teams, activities, and red team. We're challenging the supply chain. Not just do, do red team, you know, for your uh, IT and corporate uh, infrastructure. Also challenge the supply chain. Look for Git secret. See, enter, you know, secret there, and and look what happens. Your SOC, your incident response, identify that because that's, that's will prevent an attack. Um, so, it, so also, you know, incident response is also a crucial part in the, in the software supply chain security. Make sure that your incident response is ready. If we have like incident response plan in place and we're practicing in supply chain attacks don't afraid of that if you're not good at it improve yourself and you know uh, but create an outline steps to take a, to take in case of security breach within your software supply chain 